Hello friends of terrain building and welcome to another Middle Earth terrain building tutorial. Today I want to show you how to use the ruins from the current starter box in a different setting than the standard Osgiliath setting. For this I want to show you a former Gondor city which has crumbled and is now used by the Haradrim for their everyday life. I want to show you how to roughly build the ruins accordingly to the instructions and add some details. In particular, I want to build the market for which I got a very great support from Tabletop Art. I will link you in the video description the links to the articles. I wish you a lot of fun with the tutorial. have seen how I assembled the ruin parts. Of course, with my channel interest, I first took the ruin parts from the starter box and assembled them here. But I didn't want them in the standard Osgiliath look, I just wanted to create more variety here, because I don't have an Osgiliath plate for my tournaments either. So I wanted to use them in the other setting and of course at the same time show an interesting other design possibility if you don't always want to use the ruins only for Osgiliath. I will prime the ruins in white, cover the bases with sand and then fill it with life and details. So the idea behind this is that a former Gondor city was basically taken by Harad and the former houses are now falling apart piece by piece. But the Haradrim still want to use the ruins a bit. So the small ruin becomes a camel stable with some corn stacks. The middle one will be a kind of barracks will be built. There will be some bow targets, then maybe a small training dummy and also some a small temporary forge. The core piece is the big ruin and the biggest piece of the terrain. From this I want to build a market. I have already shown you a market in the Minas Tirith video. This time I want to make the whole thing not quite so modular but built as a solid market and accordingly I just have the opportunity to build the solid and designed, to build it solid and designed and for that I have a nice cooperation today. I got it from Tabletop Art, a very nice store with extremely, extremely beautiful articles, a super sympathetic, nice and pleasant communication. I have here the first few different bags with some sale items for my market. I also have two bags with items that were left from some old projects. I then took some fruits in addition to the fish and vegetables. Some bakery stuff, a fabric store and here also a few corn sacks and also three market vendors. Here I have a fish seller, a fabric seller and a fruit and vegetable seller. I would like to place the three accordingly at the respective market stands and then basically build nice terrain pieces from these three ruins. For that I'll take you into the time lapse. 
I will not report in between, but only then at the end, because you see actually everything important directly in the time-lapse videos.
here you can see the finished ruin parts. As you can see, you can use the starter set ruins also super good in other settings. Here you see directly in the foreground the small market with the fruit and vegetable seller, then the, the bakery stand, then we have the fish store, the fabric store outside the ruin. In the next small ruin you see the camels with a few corn sacks so that they have something to eat. In the third ruin we have a barracks. Here you can do some archery, forge weapons or train with the sword. On all the three ruins I added some cobras. This is one way to use the ruins. In the future I'll probably show you a second option. Finally, you can see the finished hard terrain table.